What is up people, Level over here. Today we're going to show you how to install a boost cage. Uh, one of our viewers uh, asked us to do so, so we do so. So for this purpose, we're going to use a uh, double smart uh, boost cage together with its 52mm. Uh, Take care, when you're buying this, they come in 60 and 52mm uh, pods and gauges. Uh, together with the sun visor, you see it's really important. Let's begin to get hot, really hot. Um, we'll just do a basic tool kit. Uh, some a lot of vacuum pipe, a lot of it. So if it doesn't pass on the right places, you can just remove it from the windscreen and make a hole through the windscreen and it works. Um, if it doesn't work out, you can use just a hammer and break into things and it will work. I promise you that. So the first step that should be taken when doing any electrical work on a car is to disconnect the negative terminal from the battery so that no fuses are blown and no fire is set. In order to remove the plastic cover underneath, there are a few screws holding it in place. And once all are undone, gently use some pressure and it should fall right apart. After doing so, hack up the factory loom and look for a wire that supplies 12 volts only when the key is in the on position. This is the wire that you will connect to the positive wire that comes out of the gauge so that the lights in the gauge turn on when the key is in the on position only. Now that all the electrical work has been done, root the vacuum hose from the engine bay to the cabin behind the dash and hook it up to the gauge itself. Screw in the pods base to the dash and assemble the pods you need. Do not forget to put the wires in the hose at this point. Ensure all the things are working before you close down all the plastic bits that you removed. This is the pipe that comes out from the boost gauge. This is the pipe that goes to the blow off valve and this is where we have taken our vacuum source from. So basically it's the, the, just any nipple off, the, even you can use any of them but we use this one because it's more convenient and the cleanest route to get it to where it's supposed to go and uh, yeah there's a, T, there's a T piece over here that uh, gets, uh, gives the, sends the vacuum signals from uh, this nipple going to the boost cage and one going to the blow valve so it can trigger it. After everything has been done, go for a test drive and enjoy your new boost cage that you just installed. Mm -hmm. 